Hi Air Signs, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those of you cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what does your special person, your romantic interest, your crushy want to tell you but isn't coming forward Yeah, So um, what are they holding back from you? What is, it that they, what is it that you might need to know? So what do they want to tell you but instead of telling you they're actually holding it? back or holding it inside or keeping it to themselves it's going to be a general reading guys so please just keep that in mind if you are after a personal tarot reading with myself please feel free to reach out and inquire i will be listing my email address just below the video here where the show more section is otherwise let's go ahead and let's begin here There's something going on with your person, guys. Okay, bottom of the deck, you have the Four of Cups. Um, something's going on with your person. If they're acting weird lately, okay, uh, there's a reason for that. Their emotional state seems to be a little confused here. Okay, this is someone who I feel like is really... Um, they're not themselves, and you probably have noticed lately that they've been acting a little bit weird, a little bit different, especially towards you. Now, something he feels as though it's shifted, okay? So if recently you've had some sort of conversation with them and it went some, it went a little something like this where they felt like the two of you needed time or you needed space, um, you, would have, you would have gauged from that conversation alone their emotional state and the things that they were saying were contradicting what they were doing here so this was already uh you know signaling to us their emotionally confused state your person is not sure okay your person is a little bit confused they're not sure about what it is that they want so if they've said something to you lately that they thought they wanted i don't think they've completely convinced by what it is that they've said to you here because even if they said they want to break from you or, you know, if they've been keeping their distance from you, something's going on with them internally, okay? I don't think, I don't see their actions necessarily matching their um, their words here, okay? There's a bit of a disconnection between the actions, between what they say and what they do. So if they told you, you know, they, they want to put an end to this connection or they want to break, that's not exactly what's going on here okay because i feel like right now your person is very confused they may have said one thing but that's not really what they feel or that's not really what they're convinced by so i feel like your person is missing you i feel like your person wants to reach out and they want to connect with you i also feel like there's been something here that's shifted so yeah especially if they've said like they want a break or they want to take some time away or especially if they've sort of distanced themselves away from you there's some regrets behind their actions here okay this is someone who's missing you this is someone who's really hurting you if this is someone who's cut ties with you and who's if it is someone who's rejected you uh, who's betrayed you someone who's caused you pain whether with their words their actions or their intentions here it feels like this person is they've come from a very um their emotional state is very confused. They're very uncertain. They're not they're not sure what it is that they're doing. I'm not trying to make excuses for them. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to say, you know, they did what they did, but they were confused. They didn't know what they were doing. I'm not excusing their behavior at all. I just feel like there's something going on with their energy. And I don't think they even know themselves what's going on. I just feel like there's a lot of turbulence in their energy. Uh, could have something to do with just them not processing their emotions here. Um, it could have something to do with like, they may be repressing emotions here and as a result, 
you know, people think that they can get away with burying their emotions, okay? They think that if they avoid something or they ignore something, it's going to go away and their emotions are just going to, you know, dissipate and dissolve. But it doesn't work like that, okay? It might, they might bury their emotions, you know, for a little while, but eventually they're going to come back up. They're going to resurface. And this is what's going on with your person. I feel like there's something here um, that's been, there's resurfaced, there's a resurfacing of emotions here, okay um now it could be a it feels like it may be a past energy this person that we're referring to it could be someone that you were romantically involved with it could be like an ex or it could be someone that you were just loosely involved with someone that you might have been seeing and this person ghosted you and i feel like their actions or their words here have caused you a lot of pain or they may have pushed some emotional buttons on your end okay um in turn, I also feel like maybe your your person it's themselves have a lot of hurt and a lot of pain in their energy that they're carrying, and instead of dealing and pro like dealing with that pain or that hurt and processing it, they're projecting that hurt and that pain onto you, which is why sometimes they say things they don't mean, they do things they don't mean, or especially if they've cut ties with you or they walked away from you. This is someone who they don't want. They don't know what they're doing. They don't know what they want. There's something that's going. That's there's something that's just going on with them. And instead of being honest with you, okay, instead of taking on this Queen of Swords energy and telling you, hey, this is what I'm feeling. This is what's going on with me. I don't know if I want this. I don't know what I want that. They're confused. And you know, one day they're saying this thing. The next day they're saying that thing. They're then giving you. They're giving you mixed messages, right? Mixed signals. I feel like your person is someone who suppresses their emotions. So whether it's sadness, anger, hurt, um, suppressing your emotions can lead to not only emotional, mental and spiritual uh, stress on your body, but also physical. So the effect is the same across all the core emotions. And it just feels like your person... You know, what's going on with your person now is a result of suppressed emotions, okay? Um, there's an apathy here to their energy for the with the Four of Cups here, right? So it, it's like the state... Apathy is the state of not caring, okay? And it, it can also mean the, suppress, the suppression of an emotion or the suppression of passion here. So there's something that's going on with your person internally and it then is affecting their world externally, okay? So it's not that they're confused about you or confused about your connection. They're confused within themselves, which is then leading them to second guess and doubt and question what's going on with you, okay? So in a way, I do feel like your person... Your person is feeling a little bit vulnerable right now, okay? And if they did want to communicate with you, or if they were to communicate with you in this state of vulnerability, they would tell you that there are some things that's going on with them, okay? They're at a point in their life, <coughs> excuse me, they're at a point in their life where they feel like it's a bit of a crossroads, like they may have to... They may be in a position where, you know, they're torn between two lovers, yourself and someone else, or, you know, um, they're just not sure about what choice to make here. But it does feel like, in a way, to me, it feels like your person is hiding their feelings because, or, you know, is holding back their feelings or holding back what it is that they want to communicate with you. In a way, it's to protect um I see them, it's like it's, it's like they're masking their emotions, even though it's not doing you or them any favors, but it's like they're trying to protect themselves or trying to protect you as well. Okay, so they need to find a way to work through some of this suppression, um, especially in a healthy and a very productive way. Otherwise, it's going to become a pattern, which I think it has, right? In the past, I do feel like this is an ex or this is someone that maybe you're in a bit of a disconnection with because there's a bit of a turbulency in your connection with this individual and in the past I feel like it, it's become a bit of a pattern where your person goes you know they don't process their emotions correctly um, or in a healthy way they suppress it 
and then they go through a pattern where it becomes it then affects their ability to communicate um, authentically I'm also I'm also seeing that your person is scared scared of expressing certain emotions because they feel like they they believe that they can't manage their emotions and they're also in the past someone he has used their feelings against them so they don't want that to happen again okay but I do feel like your person is hurt okay if you were the one to have walked away if you were the one to have walked away and cut ties from this connection, your person is feeling a lot of hurt, a lot of anger, a lot of bitterness, sadness, rejection, betrayal. But I don't know that they've communicated that to you directly. Instead, they may have said some very mean and hurtful things that would have hurt you as well. And that's that's what I mean when, when I say your person is hurting and they're projecting their hurt onto you. Um, and instead of telling you how they really feel, they want you to feel the hurt because they themselves feel hurt. They miss you. They miss you so, so much. They wish they could hold you in their arms. They wish they could run their fingers through your hair. They wish that they could hug you and hear you giggle like you normally would. This is someone who misses you so much. Your person is uh, looking back at the photos. Okay, I see them looking back through photos on their phone. He's scrolling. They keep scrolling their phone through photos that the two of you have taken together. Um, and you've taken some very lovely photos. I've seen that. I can see that you two have shared some very lovely memories with one another. They're also revisiting places or they're avoiding here. They're either doing one or the other. They're either visiting places that the two of you would visit together. Like for example, you know, um, coffee shops or theaters here or, you know, certain gardens, certain locations that the two of you liked. Um, or otherwise they're avoiding these places because they're heavily, uh, those places, you know, heavily remind them of you. Your person still loves you. Your person still cares. Yes, they are hurting. Yes, they're bitter. They're brooding. But they're also holding back these feelings. Okay? They're, they're scared to express those emotions here. Their actions, either their actions have bothered them or they feel like your actions have, uh, it's your actions that may have bothered them as well. What's happened here between the two of you lately has triggered an even more painful conflict for your person within their own like energy here. All right, guys, and these are your messages. Thank you as always for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Bye for now.